What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the site, you've come to the right place. You know what I value? Kindness. I generally think that unless someone does something significant enough to warrant changing your perception of them, you should always respect your fellow man. That being said, above all else, I desire honesty. And I'll be honest right now, most political streamers, be they on Twitch, YouTube, hell, even those guys you hear on the radio, they all belong in the loony bin. Whenever I listen in on a political debate over on Twitch or YouTube, I just get the feeling that, you know, these people are just so passionate about politics that it detaches them from reality. Like it renders them out of touch from the normal world. And honestly, I think Vouch definitely fits into that category. I mean, get a load of this. Okay, so... If you were to, so, you know, there's pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? Even though mm -hmm. they're directly supporting child rape? Yeah, I think that's, it's, uh, it's hypocritical. If, if I, because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves. If I can do that and that's legal that's... and no one's going to call me out in my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. Let's put the obvious fact aside that this is just dumb reasoning. How deranged do you have to be to be so concerned with being politically consistent to the point where you actually argue in favor of child pornography? Like, you guys get what I'm saying here, right? Fauch is best described as an intellectual, specifically a French intellectual in the year of 1977. I would also describe him as someone who you should keep your kids away from. In any case, he made this tweet. All J.K. Rowling had to do was shut the f up and she could have been almost uncritically beloved for like a century and the thing is i'd say he's totally right in that regard i don't know much about harry potter or jk rowling but what i do know is she went from being one of the most celebrated authors in literature to an absolute lunatic i'm sure you guys know the story back when it was hip and trendy to have diverse characters in media she was all like oh uh, this character in harry potter is actually gay oh that character is actually black so on and so forth she's also a turf i suppose trans exclusionary radical feminist uh, I guess that's when you're like a feminist but you don't like argue in favor of transgenders so you know she basically makes a bunch of stupid politically charged statements that basically turned everyone against her so yeah point in case she just had to run her mouth and now no one really likes her whereas if she had just kept her mouth shut she'd probably have been remembered as one of the greatest authors in the history of ever woman be quieter and start apologizing challenge okay so I'm guessing he's probably just joking there you know a little bit of hyperbole as they call it jk rowling responded to this tweet and by the way she didn't like quote retweet it she screenshotted it which i found pretty strange i don't know what you and your hilk fail to appreciate is how tediously familiar i find your tactics i had a violent ex-husband who used to tell me life would be great if only i'd comply but you're making the same mistake that he did women like me can't be bullied out of resistance so that is quite the leap huh Fausch mostly just kind of makes a joke, and she kind of compares him to, like, an abusive spouse. That's a pretty big escalation. To be good faith, though, I guess it really is more so the principle of the thing, right? I guess she's trying to make the point that Fausch is trying to encourage her to comply with a pro-trans agenda. You know, trying to strong-arm her into it, right? Then Fausch responds, Listen, Joanne, you don't get to play the victim card when you're the advocate for taking away women's rights here. Trans women are raped and killed in men's facilities, and you want to keep them there because of your trauma. Quit making your feelings other people's oppression. So, once again, kind of escalating the thing, right? Which, you know, I guess, fair play. I mean, JK Rowling tried to compare this guy to her abuser. So, Vouch brings up how trans women get murdered, which kind of makes Rowling look like a heartless psycho, considering her views on trans people, right? So, what we have here is basically just a race to the bottom, where both parties are just appealing to emotion. If you ever needed a representation for how politics in the modern age works, well, here you have it. At this point, people are bringing up Vouch's stances on child pornography, which, to be fair, from what I've been hearing, most of the ammunition, so to speak, being used against him are clip chimps, out of context stuff. Although then again, at the end of the day, he has said some pretty damning stuff regarding CP, so either way, I don't really think he looks good on that side of things. I think a lot of spectators, you know, the outsiders looking in, you know, people who don't really know who Vouch is, probably aren't too keen on supporting him, knowing the things that he's said in the past. I think the weirdest 
thing is, some mainstream outlets are picking up on the matter, so honestly I think it kinda creates a situation where Fauch can't really lose, right? You know the saying, all publicity is good publicity, so even though he said some pretty distasteful things in the past, at the end of the day, he's just getting free advertising. The way I see it, Vouch is a micro celebrity, so the fact that he's getting called out by a mainstream author and getting mainstream outlets writing pieces on him, <laughs> most people have to pay for that sort of publicity, and he's getting it all for free. Maybe I should try starting up beefs with mainstream celebrities. I don't know. I don't know, at the end of the day, I don't really have much to say about this situation, but it's a pretty interesting timeline we're living in, huh? I suppose if you have Vouch beefing with JK Rowling on your 2022 bingo card, well, now is the time to cross it off. It's only March, dude. I can only imagine what other crazy scenarios are in store for us this year, man. That's all I've got for this stick, though, so you guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.